When you shake a can of paint, there's a right and a wrong way. You see a lot of people do this. Now if I have to tell you why you don't do that, Today, we're refinishing a filing cabinet for my new Batcave Studio. Before you paint something, it's a good idea to wipe it down with thinner. Don't put the rag over top of the thinner because then contaminants can get in from the rag into the thinner can. Pour the thinner onto the rag. Clean your project thoroughly. I was unable to remove this drawer. It outsmarted me. That's okay. I removed the hardware. We're going to paint it another color. What do you think, pink? I'm going to make sure and get the inside of all these jams good. That looks like good contrast. No. Unsalted peanuts. No more salt for me. I had this color here. I don't know, for some reason it didn't seem like it had enough contrast for the handles. I got that color. It's amazing how a little rattle can covers a multitude of sins. When you paint, you want to let off of it at the end of each stroke. Otherwise, while you stop and turn around, you get a puddle. And so you always and you always want to stroke off of the object you're painting. I was very lucky to have a uh, have a job at my uncle's body shop when I was a teenager, and I got to watch a, a man who really knows how to paint. Paint. He painted all the most expensive exotic cars in Dayton, Ohio, at one time. And for the Bison Channel, this is how to make your filing cabinet great again. Wiping well, your parts off with thinner gets rid of any oily. Fingerprints, popcorn fingerprints. Attention to detail. I can see a little bit of this here is not covered.
When you shake a can of paint, there's a right and a wrong way. You see a lot of people do this. Now if I have to tell you why you don't do that, then you're not too bright. This is how you shake a can of paint. You can judge a man by how he shakes a can of paint. I don't know why I feel like I have to paint the inside of those. One eternity later. The time has come. High grade thermoplastic lock. So there we go, one cheap filing cabinet with a new set of clothes.